Time now is 8.43. Let's go to Matt and find out what's... Oh, no, let's go to sport. We're going to Bolton now. That's where Mike is, if you're wondering why he's not with us here. Mike is talking all things pickleball. Aren't you, Mike? I am indeed. You could say I've never been so pickled. I'm mesmerised. It's like the Wimbledon of pickleball here in Bolton at the English Championships. Only the third year they've been running, but... Already the number's competing up to 1,100. And if we come over to this side, good morning, good luck by everybody. <laughs> we can see that, yeah, the centre court of pickleball. And when you see the top players playing it, oh, there are some professional players as well now. You see the speed of their reactions, the skill, it's very fast. You don't have to move around so much as in tennis, but some of the volleying is mesmerising and so good for mental agility and also reaction time. So it's really taken off big time in the US where it started and now the UK and around the world. As well as this going on this weekend, and this is going on all weekends, so you can come and have a look yourself. It's the FA Cup first round. We have two non-league clubs in action tonight. Alfredton, they're away from home at Tamworth, host League One Huddersfield. That is live on BBC Two. But tomorrow we'll see the lowest ranked team left in the competition in action. It's Hensford Town taking on Gainsborough Trinity. Now Hensford play way down the eighth tier of English football and their story, well, it's a former mining town, but they have struck FA Cup gold. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there he is, Pittman Paul. Look out for him on match of the day. There'll be highlights of all the FA Cup games over the weekend. Back here, if you do want to take up pickleball, or at least give it a go. It's very easy to get started in. There are nearly 400 clubs up and down the UK. It's also played down in a lot of schools because you can see you don't need much equipment. They can put down the tape in a school hall, set up a net, and away they go with a couple of paddle bats and balls. But when you see it played by the top players, you realise how good and how long it can take to get to the top level and play. Oh, they'll actually stop, typical timing. <laughs> they had an amazing rally a minute ago, but you see what it can take to actually master this game, much more difficult. Those guys who started it in America in 1965 have certainly created something worldwide now, something special, all named apparently after their dog, Pickles. That makes sense, that makes sense. Thank you very much, Mike. A lot of enthusiasm in the room there. Good to see. He loves it. Yeah. He absolutely loves it.